What's up guys, Rob here at Float World and I hope everybody's having a great day uh, enjoying life. I know I am here at Float World because I today am going to put some Kevlar reinforcement into a bodyproof vest and we're going to show you how to do that. No, this, this is a foot pad. Oh, really? Okay, well, all right, guys. Well, we are going to be installing some grip tape onto a piece of steel uh, foot pad from Tech Rails. So, yeah, let's just hop right into it. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's got a bunch of holes in it. And if you notice, some of the holes... Don't go all the way through. Look at this top row. This top row in here. You got some holes that don't go all the way through. And I, I don't know what's going on with that. But they, you can see uh, some screws have been tried to go, go down in it. And it's kind of punctured the metal. But anyways, we definitely need some grip on this thing. You can't be riding this without grip. You're just going to slide the fuck off and split your sack. That, that's no bueno. So, what I have been working on and are now available on our website at floatworlds.com is the grip tape. And we've got three different type. Yes, awesome. So, let's just get down to business and just show you to install it, what they look like, this and that. And uh, you can decide for yourself whether you want to go pick some up or not. But... Okay, so first pad is just going to be our basic pad. If you don't want any designs or anything like that, you still want it perforated. See, I got it on here, demo. But if you still want it perforated, but you don't want any of the designs, you just want the grip, we got it right here. And we're going to just install this one real quick. We're going to install all of them just so I can show you how easy it is to to put on to take off and what kind of foot pad design non-design and I've got one other that's pretty cool here you might like so we're just going to install this one we're going to take off the backing get rid of that make sure your pad is nice and clean we don't need any any crap on there so give it a good wipe down and then we are just going to install the pad. Simple as that. Try not to get too much of your fingers on the sticky. And look, I can set it on there. And I can still move it. So that way, I can get wherever I want it to be for me. And that's something awesome. We just leave a little room for error. In case you mess up, you can always pull it off and just keep going so that looks pretty good right there that looks like a good fitment and we're just gonna start and then just roll it on there we go there's no need to slap it it's not your wife okay just give it a nice little push down make sure it's all made contact ha oh, look at that we now have a non slip and slide foot pad to a holy shit I can't get off my board because it's so grippy yes so yeah look at that that looks so clean and it's nice around the edges that top edge look at that beautiful goes all the way down to the bottom just doesn't cut across somewhere up here no you're gonna get the full amount of grip on this entire foot pad so there's that one no design just straight up grip cool well time to get rid of this one man it's it's been on there a while it's just time to get it off so boom and you can actually reinstall it again i'm going to show you look real quick hold on don't want to waste your time but let's just reinstall it yeah, 
Don't eat slap it, it's not your wife. Look at this bad boy. It'll be on here for life. Oh yeah. So, it's that easy. You can reinstall it. So think about that. But let's take it back off again. Yeah, we don't need it on there because we're going to move on to the next one. Come on, you. Woo. Okay. So we'll put you somewhere over here. All right, out of the way. Next thing is, well, Rob, I have this foot pad. It's a beautiful color, and I don't want to cover it up with grip tape, man. I love this color. That's why I bought the damn thing. All right. Chill, chill, chill. Because now... We're coming into our grip tape, the Mountain Sky Grip Tape. Yeah, buddy. So, what we want to do is just remove these little inlays. They go something like that, something like this, something like that, and, uh, and then that's it. Okay, pull out the webbing in the middle. Whoop, 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 boo -doo. Do, 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 do. And then you got this. Rob, I, I still I can barely see through it. Well, duh. We got to take off the backing, guys. Because the backing is going to steal the show right here, okay? That beautifully perforated foot pad. No worries about ghosting issues. None. None. So now, can you see me? Huh? Can you see me? Yeah? Well, there you go. You can now see through it. Wipe off our boards. Look, it didn't leave any residue either. That is awesome. That's what we're about. So, let's get this bad boy on here. Same thing. Just kind of lay it on there and let's, uh, let's get it lined up right where I want it. Do. 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 And just work your way up the board so we don't get any wrinkles. Yeah, we don't need any wrinkles. No! And now we've got it on there. <sighs> And there we go. Now you can see your beautiful colors through there with our badass mountain design grip tape. Look at that. Yep. You like that. I like that. I think that's a great combo. And that's going to be our holographic. Uh, well, during the day, it's you still be holographic. And then you can still also see through there. And it and it, I think that's a great combo. So look and look at the fitment too on there. I mean, seriously. Where are you gonna get a better fitment than that right now? Nowhere. Nowhere is gonna have this. This is why I wanted to do this. Okay, so we seen that. Let's take this bad boy off. Rob, what a waste of a foot pad. Yep, yeah, well. I got to spend money to make money, right? And look at that. We can also, one more time. Let's do it. Let's put it back on. No worries. Oh, man, I meant to put this on the front. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, probably with all the other grip tapes, but not with this one. And I don't know about you chaps, but I don't like standing on metal I don't like standing on rubber or, you know, plastic, whatever. The grip does have, you know, it does have a little plastic in there, but it depends on which grip you get, the less plastic you'll have on there, and that's what we did. There we go. Reinstalled it again. Oh, man, I, I installed it on the back. I meant to install it in the front. Just take it off. You'd be just fine. Just fine, sir. So, and you can actually see 
some of the holes. And if you want to make your own holes, I mean, these holes, they don't come with it. So all you have to do is take something, hold the top, poke it through, punch it. You can put your adapters or whatever comes on this thing. Okay. So there's number two. Now we come to the other one. Rob, I want your grip tape and I want an awesome color. Yes, I have done that for you as well. Our mountain sky, I picked the color. One of my uh, favorite colors, in fact. Hey. Can't wait for people to see this grip. Do da do da day. Yay. Pull these out. They come out very nice. I like to pull the uh, the little grip tape off first, and then the the foam just seems to slide right on out of that, guys. And there we go. I picked the blue holographic. Yes. Oh, that looks so cool. And that's the one we're going to do. Clean the board, which doesn't need clean. Just peel this little backing off. If you don't have fingernails, use, uh, I don't know, a little tool or something to get it off. Still perforated. Outstanding. And then we're just going to install it, man. And it's simple as that. I, I can't make it any simpler for you guys. Unless you just want to send in me your stuff. And I'll do it for you. But, you know. It is really user friendly. So anybody can do this. Okay, guys. You don't need to go to any type of shop and get screwed over just for putting on some fucking grip tape. Anybody can do this. Hell, my daughter can do this, and she's six. So, if you have a problem, I mean, I don't want to hear it, but I do want to hear it because my six-year-old can do this, and she enjoys it. She likes doing all the colors. In fact, that's why I'm running low on vinyl right now. But anyways, it is on. Bam! That is just sick. Sick. That is ugly. And look at the fitment around there. I want you to see that. The fitment is just fucking wonderful. So if you've got these Cavalier... Ooh, look at that. Cavalier doesn't sound as loud anymore. What about when you drop it? Yeah, it still sounds like steel. But yeah, this is going to make your running experience a hell of a lot better. I promise you, get the 2mm or the 4mm foam grip tape right now at floatworlds.com. You do it blank. You can do it transparent. You can do it purple. What do I got? Purple, blue, silver, red, green, gold holographic, gold mirror, red mirror. Just... I've got it. I've got it all. And there's some more in production for more foot pads that are coming very soon that y'all will also, also enjoy. But these are sweet. I would definitely highly recommend going picking these up. I've worked hard on them. Uh, thankfully, a customer sent this in to us. And, um, yeah, just thank you so much. And Flight Fins will actually have it very soon as well so you go check them out and you can get their design but right now you go get this on floatworlds.com we'll get them made get them shipped out to you as fast as possible so yeah continuously working here at the shop guys i did manage to get a ride in it was about a week and a half ago 
and I recorded a lot of footage so I'm trying to edit it down so I don't bore y'all as much but so uh, be patient with that and I, I get some I did get a ride in and it was quite a bit of a relief it really helped I needed it so yeah if you have the the tech rails foot pad we now have grip tape for you guys so head on over to floatworlds.com we've got grip tape for a lot of things so but if there's nothing on there your if your pad's not on there or something that you want go ahead and email me contact me and see if i can work something up for you no worries so dude that looks dope i kind of want this on my board I mean, I'm not too thrilled about the metal because it does, it's got weight to it. It's got some weight to it. But it's going to be, you know, definitely strong. Definitely strong, for sure. But with strength, you're going to need this for the foot fatigue. This one on here is the 4 millimeter. And I like the 4mm. Actually, I prefer the 4mm in the back, which will be this pad, and a 2mm in the front. Because, I, you know, I that's just me. But everybody, every rider's different. So, thank you for listening to me. Uh, put on these foot pads, showing you how it's done. You can do it. Anybody can do it. Don't be intimidated. It's all one bloody piece. So, there's no instruction. Do this, do this, do this. Just put the damn thing on there and go fucking ride. That simple. That's all it has to be. And that's what we got. So last time, where are you going to go? Floatworlds.com and pick this up. Okay? Because this is just amazing. This is going to be under the GT and GTS foot pads. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support. I really do appreciate it. We're, we're going to keep striving to work hard, bring you great products. Uh, we have had zero ghosting issues so far on this, knock on wood. But that's because we worked hard to design it to do, you know, to be that way. Anybody can do it. So, yes, flowworlds.com. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate the support. And as always, as always, if you watch this channel, you know what I'm going to say. Say it with me. Float the world, my friends. Love y'all.